Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I just wanted to come in and run my mouth and talk about some people. Um, can I say something? <laughs> so Nicki Minaj, uh, her album came out last night. And, or today, whatever. Um, I'm not a rap person. So I'm the last one who could even enter into a conversation revolving around rap, honey. You know, I'm more of a girl, how was the beat? <laughs> girl, is it cute? <laughs> girl, is it a vibe? Girl, can we throw it in a circle? You know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, I, I, I can't go into this deep discussion about bar for bar, line for line. I'm an R&B, neo-soul, alternative, um, pop <laughs> type of boy, okay? That's more of my lane. Now, if you want to talk about Anita Baker, Okay, if you want to talk about Deborah Costin, Tamia, and Brandy and Monica, okay? If you want to talk about Tyrese, girl, okay? If you want to talk about the 3LW, you know what I'm saying? If you want to talk about Lil Pink, you know what I'm saying? Um, then, I, you know, I could do a little one too. But, you know, outside of that, you know, I just stay in my lane. Um, <clears throat> I've seen mixed reviews about the album. I've seen some people say they love it. I've seen some people say that it's, you know, that it's just okay. I'm here to say this. I think that sometimes we, including me, <laughs> sometimes we can be too hard on these artists. Now, I get it. Some people just put out trash and expect to make a million dollars, right? <sighs> Girl, the album just came out. Like, <laughs> I saw people last night talking about the album. And, you know, they were just like, oh, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. And I'm like, girl, y'all, like, do y'all even really give some of these artists a chance? <laughs> like, do you have you, do you really sit down and listen to the music? Or is it more so, girl, let me just see if I like the beat, if they say something, I, if they hear, if, I, if they're going to say something I like. Because sometimes I have noticed that, you know how, like, you may not care for a song? Or you may not care for an album, but the more you listen to it, it's kind of like, oh, <laughs> girl, Miss Thing or Mister kind of did his kind of did his thing on this one, you know. I just think that girl, we we just need to, girl, and it's just not even about Nikki. It's just about artists across the board. Like, girl, give the time, give the album some time, girl. It just dropped three hours and thirty seven minutes ago. Girl, and y'all already girl trying to chop her. Girl, chop. Girl, send her back. Girl, it ain't it ain't old Nikki. Girl, like girl, did you listen? Did you really listen to the album, or did you just give it a quick scan? You know. Anyways, it is what it is, girl. Girl, my niece. Hold up, y'all. My niece texting me. Here she go. Here she go. Listen to this. This is this is what Tatum just texts me. Uncle Rodney, wanna go to the place with the shrimp tonight? <laughs> um, I shouldn't have put what I put. I put L M A O. I should have put L O L. Because I don't want her to be I don't want her to start texting L M A O. I said, what place, Tatum? She said, uh, Papacito, I think. <laughs> she meant Papa Does. Let me text her back. But, mm, girl, you ain't even got no money. I'm about to ask her, does she ask her, do you have some money? Do you have some money? Why she gonna say she does? I have, I have money. It's in the bank. Anyways, I'm sorry, y'all, girl. My niece is texting me, girl. I got to text back, honey. All right. Who are we talking about? Oh. Oh, girl, she just texted me back, hold up. Oh, she put, I don't know. Usually she says she has money in the bank. Okay. Girl, okay, I'm done, y'all. I'm sorry. I had to text my nieces. I'm sorry. 
Uh, girl, what does she want? She keep texting me. Okay, she texted me. Like, okay, 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 okay. We're done. We're done. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, so this is uh, according to the Jasmine brand. So, woman accusing Diplo of disturbing revenge, P O R N, shares her claims um, were thoroughly investigated, verified, and submitted to prosecutors. So, Diplo, for you know what I hate? <laughs> I hate. I hate. <laughs> I hate. You know, like, I know this is going to sound so, like, like not a factor in the in, in, in the big story, you know? But don't you hate when you be looking at some of these men, these entertainers, and you be like, oh, they so cute. <laughs> and then you find out, girl, the girls say that y'all like to steal. And then you be like, ugh. Cause I think Diplo is so cute, but then I heard these stories. It's like, girl, I can't even think you cute no more. Cause they say you are here, girl, and they say you praying on the girls. Ugh. I thought you was cute. Not to make it about how we feel, cause it's about the victims, right? But it's like, girl, I thought you was cute. So the serious allegations surrounding music producer Diplo continue to grow. In August, a woman named Sheila. Augusta accused Diplo, real name Thomas Pence, of distributing nude photographs of her without her consent. According to reports, the LAPD submitted her case to the Los Angeles City um, Attorney's Office in November, and it is under review. Um, Shelly, I'm asking, did I say Sheila? Uh, Shelly uh, is also report reportedly suing the music producer for... Um, Girl, I'd be scared to say some of these words, honey, because they, they be going to demonetize a girl's videos, honey. S-E-X-U-A-L, uh, battery, gender violence. Oh, what's that? I ain't never heard of that before, girl. Let me look that up. Let's look that up, girl. Let's learn something today. What is gender violence? I ain't never heard of that before. Girl, let's learn something today. Uh oh. Girl, never mind. It's very simple, girl. Gender, uh, gender-based violence is violence directed against a person um, because of that person's gender, or violence that affects a person's of a particular gender dis disproportionately. Okay, girl. Basically, girl, self-explanatory. What are four types of gender violence? They have physical violence, any uh, act which causes physical harm as a result of un lawful physical force. Um, and then they have S, sexual violence, any sexual act performed on an individual without their consent. Psych psychological violence, any act which causes psych uh, psychological harm to an in individual and economic violence. Okay, can we learn something today? Okay. Um, uh, intentional, oh, girl, who is this? Okay. Um, intentional, Intrusion into private affairs, battery, um, A-S-S-A-U-L-T, defamation, um, intentional infliction of emotional distress, and fraud, as well as violation of the Ralph Civil Rights Act and violation of the Tom Bain Act, uh, um, Tom Bain Civil Rights Act. The pair are due in court in April 2024, according to reports, while addressing her legal bat battle with Diplo. Um, she expressed on Twitter, I did not just file a, re a police report. It was thoroughly investigated, verified, and submitted to prosecutors. I was also granted a temporary restraining order against him. I believe it. Because Azalea came out, and I forgot to talk about that story. You know, it'd be a lot going on sometimes. Azalea came out probably like a week or two ago, talking about how Diplo used to coerce her into having sex for beats, making her feel like that's the only way, I guess, that girl, she could get her music out. Girl, let me see if I can find it. Girl, hold up. Y'all like, what y'all doing? Girl, listen, we talking. Girl, we trying to get down. We get through. Oh, here we go. Okay. Um, this is what Azalea had to say. Some of what she had to say, the media has purposely been dodging past of all the intelligent things I say. She went on to insist that the media does not uh, does does that to finger pick words. 
Um, soon after, uh, she basically said that she accused him of doing racist and demeaning things to her when she was a little girl, a little effing girl. Continuing her talk, Azalea Banks alleged that Diplo would co coerce her, coerced me, and make me feel like I had to have sex with him um, to get beats from him. According to the rapper, all of this happened when she was 17, before she had her big break. She claimed that after sleeping with Diplo, he would promise to send her beats and claim he had a flight uh, and claimed he had a flight to catch. Afterwards, she would allegedly ask to order something uh, from room service, and she claimed Diplo would say no. But I'm going to put the link to the article. Girl, I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. I do. I believe Azalea and I believe Shelly. Diplo, you ain't shit. You ain't going to never be shit. Remember, he the one who was out here talking about, didn't he say, girl, didn't he say he think he got his, girl, I think, didn't he say, girl, hold up, let's look it up. Girl, didn't he say he think he got his dick sucked by a man? Girl, hold up. That don't got nothing to do with nothing. Yeah, we own it today, honey. Oh, no, he said he's sure. Okay, here we go. Diplo says he's, um, he surely received oral sex from a man before. I'm not, I'm not, not gay. <laughs> Girl. There are a couple of guys that I, that I'd be like, I could date this guy. The music producer told Emily, whatever her name is on the high low podcast. Um, the conversation turned to Diplo's sexuality when he told the model and actress that his TikTok algorithm has recently featured many hot guys chopping wood. Um, oh, girl, this white boy is fine. What's his name? Bradley Thor. Girl, that's a fine ass white man. Yes, ma'am. Um, <laughs> there are a couple of guys that I that I'd be like, I could date this guy, life partner wise. I'm not really aroused by men that much that I know about. I'm sure that I've gotten, I'm sure that I've got a blowjob from a guy before. I've got a lot of blowjobs. Getting a blowjobs, get, getting a blowjobs, that's not, that's, wait, getting a, basically getting a blowjobs, not that gay, I think. Girl. Listen, the girls get mad when you put labels on stuff and when you put labels on them. I'm ready to break it down to y'all, honey. And I don't care how ignorant it may sound. It is what it is. I'm not saying that you can't experiment. Just because, like, if I had sex with a woman one time, girl, y'all wouldn't say I was straight. Y'all would just say, girl, he dipped in the lady pod. <laughs> he wanted to see, girl, he wanted to see, girl, what that macaroni and cheese feel like. Girl, he wanted to see what that aquafina. Girl, get a water in her mind with this wet-ass pussy. Um... But y'all wouldn't say I was y'all wouldn't say I was straight. So I don't think that just because a man, you know, has sex with a man one time, um, that automatically means he's gay. However, when you start to go down this line of oh girl, <laughs> Diplo, you being in your dick stuck by niggas. Okay. You might not be gay. You might be pansexual. You might be bisexual. But girl, you ain't heterosexual. But that's what you're trying to put out there. And that's okay. Anyways, let's get back to the story, girl. We're getting, we getting off. Um, oh, if Shelly's name sounds familiar, it may be because she's been involved in a legal battle with her alleged ex since 2020. That year, Shelly filed for and was granted a restraining order against Diplo after she accused him for the first time of all the stuff I told you before. Um, the heartless producer denied her claims, and in 2021, they both reportedly signed a dual restraining order agreement not to disparage each other. In addition, they filed um, lawsuits, competing lawsuits against each other. But this is a mess. I believe it. I believe it. I know some of y'all, when it comes to Azalea Banks, some of y'all don't really see it for Azalea. And sometimes, you know, Azalea be saying some problematic stuff sometimes. I'm not going to lie. But I don't think Azalea lying. And I don't think this girl is lying. I think Diplo is trash. These men, y'all know what these men be. We hear these stories all the time about how these men are in the entertainment industry. 
And then when the girls start to come out and speak out, girl, y'all start to, y'all start telling the girls they lying. But y'all hear these stories. Girl, like I've said, girl, we can literally turn on love and hip hop. And we see these men from Stevie J on down using their power, right, to convince these women that, girl, I can make you a star. And some of these women, no tea, no shade, they don't be talented. You'll have somebody like Rich Dollars who will go scoop up an Erica Mena, um, Erica Mena and swear he's going to make her into a superstar. And she sounds like a goat when she sings. Hello? But they use their positions to get pussy. And then they use their positions to take advantage of these women. And y'all know it. So I never understand, I can never understand why when these women do come out and say, this is what happens to me, girl, everybody like, oh, girl, you lying. You're just doing it for some money. You're just doing it because you clout chasing. You, you knew what was going on. You grown. You made the decision. Girl! Like, y'all don't know what the fuck abuse of power means. Oh, girl. Not y'all. People. I, just, I know sometimes people get upset when I say y'all. What else is going on? Oh, girl, listen to this. 50 Cent uh, says proceeds from his documentary detailing Diddy's alleged essay crimes will go to our victims. It's something about 50 Cent and what he's doing. Listen, I think Diddy is trash. I believe everything Cassie had to say. But it's something about 50 Cent and what he's doing that just gives me, I don't know. So earlier today, this was uh, December the 6th, Diddy was hit with his fourth essay lawsuit by a woman being represented by the same attorney who uh, successfully represented Cassie um, in her legal battle against her ex Diddy. As you may recall, Diddy settled with Cassie just one day after she filed a lawsuit accusing him of many alarming acts that allegedly took place throughout their decade-long relationship, including sex trafficking, physical ab abuse, and the R word. And the latest suit brought against Diddy, a woman claims the music mogul um, Girl, girl it'd be so hard to read these stories sometimes. Um, gang awed her with his uh, longtime lieutenant, lieutenant um, Harve Pierre, and a third identified man. We talked about this the other day, so I'm not going to go through this story. Um, after the news, after the news broke of the allegation, uh, after the after news of the allegations broke, many people took to the internet to weigh in on the serious matter, including Fifty Cent, real name Curtis Jackson, who shared a few posts slamming Diddy for his alleged crimes. In one upload to Instagram, he reminded the public uh, of his plans to make a documentary about the claims surrounding Diddy, real uh, real name Sean Combs, and wrote, "My God, Seventeen was uh, my God, Seventeen." Was no one off limits? This documentary is going to blow you away. Did he do it or not? Coming soon. In a follow-up uh, post featuring uh, former Bad Boy artist Mark Curry claiming that Diddy previously hosted parties where he gave women spike drinks, 50 Cent uh, revealed the proceeds from his upcoming project will go to the victims of S.A. and R. All G, unit, all G unit film and television proceeds from this documentary will go to victims of Essex. Girl, I don't know, girl. I mean, girl, you say the money going to help the victims out. I don't know. It's still something about 50 Cent. I don't know. I don't know. I, can't, I don't know how to explain it. It's just something about him and the way he's moving with this story, like it just gives very, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Anyways, y'all, I'm gone. I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good day. Bye, y'all.